Hi, this is Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips for Sony Vegas Movie Studio. In this video tip, I'm going to show you how to convert your standard definition videos to widescreen for upload to YouTube. Let's get started. As you can see over here, I have a standard definition video, and it is not widescreen. And if I upload this to YouTube, it's going to have black bars on the left and right hand side. So what we need to do is convert this to widescreen. And to do that, the first thing we want to do is go over to Project and select Properties. And on the properties, we want to change our properties so that it reflects widescreen at YouTube. Now, I've created a template that I use that I've labeled widescreen HQ for YouTube. And that template basically sets the width at 640, the height at 360, the frame rate at 30, the pixel aspect ratio at square, and the field order progressive scan. Once you've selected all these, type in widescreen for YouTube and click the disk icon to save that template. So in the future when you need to do this, you can just choose this template. Then click apply. And you notice that when we click apply over here, we have widescreen, but we have the black bars. And the reason we have the black bars is because we have not changed our video to a widescreen. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is our video clip on the timeline right here. And to convert the video clips into widescreen, you select Event Pan and Crop, which is this icon right there. You click on it, and there's the Event Pan and Crop window. On the Event Pan and Crop window, put your mouse in the center, right click, and select Match Output Aspect. And you notice over here we now have widescreen. And the way we did this is that Event Pan and Crop creates a widescreen selection window on our video. And in the process, it does crop a little bit from the top and the bottom of the video, but it gives you widescreen. Now, you notice we're at widescreen here, but if we go over to our next clip, it's not widescreen. And that's because on each of our video clips, we do have to select Event Pan and Crop, right-click in the middle, and select Match Output Aspect. And again, we have to do that for each of our clips. Right-click in the middle, select Match Output Aspect. And in this case, where the video might be going a little bit high, we can adjust where that is by doing that. And we have to do that on our final clip as well. And again, select Event Pan and Crop, put your mouse in the middle of the Event Pan and Crop window, right click and select Match Output Aspect. Now this works because we've, in our properties we told it the as output aspect is going to be widescreen. So now that we've played our video, you notice that all the segments are going to be in widescreen just like we wanted. The next step is to render this video so that it's widescreen at YouTube. And to do that, we go up to Project, come down to Render As, and on Render As, choose Windows Media V11 or V9 or whichever version of Windows Media Video that you have. Under Template, what you're going to want to do for the first time you do this is select Default Template and then click Custom. And what I've done on mine is I've created a YouTube widescreen template, and I'm going to show you what the settings are. Video quality is best. Audio is CBR, the attributes is 64 kilobytes at 4800 kilohertz, the video is CBR, the format's Windows Media Video 9, or if you have Video 11, you use that. Image size is custom, and this is very important. The width is 640, the height is 360, the frame rate is 30, the pixel aspect ratio is square. The bit rate that you choose, select high speed internet, and this can be 2 to 3 meg, doesn't matter much, but make it 2 to 3 meg. And then before you click OK, go up here and where it says template, yours will say no template or default template. Type in widescreen YouTube and click this disk icon to save the template. And then click OK. Give your file a name, make sure it's the right name. Make sure that you have not selected render loop region only, otherwise it's just going to render any of the section of the screen that you've highlighted and click Save and that will render widescreen to YouTube without the black bars on the side. I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. If you want to find more like this, I've produced a DVD that has over 101 video tips like this that you won't find on YouTube that I don't have anywhere else. And they include things like showing you how to do four-way picture-in-picture, how to do on-screen cloning, how to do side-by-side -side interviewing, over 101 video tips, video effects, video tricks. And you can find that disc either at Amazon or on my own website. It's called a 101 Tips, Tricks, and Techniques for Sony Movie Studio.